Good evening friends. Today I'll talk about Kurlogram. Well, Kurlogram is a plot of the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation in different time lag of a time series. It helps to analyze underlying behavior of any particular series. It means with the help of Kurlogram, we come to know autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation function of a series. So now if I talk about how to use or how to read this Kurlogram in R. Well, as you know that uh, we talk about time series, right? Then we have to go through this three process for running any particular function in time series. Well, so first and foremost, we have to install time series package, then we have to generate uh, time series in library, and finally we can attach file for further work. Well, in my R setup, time series package has been already installed. Well, so I'll be creating here time series in library. What is the command for that? Library T C res. Enter. Then finally we can attach the file and the series name is all about Sensex. So click on that. Enter. Well, if I talk about major components of Corlogram, then autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation functions are there. Right? So, how to run autocorrelation function? That is the major component here. So, let's put a command here ACF and the series that is BAC enter well uh, uh, there is uh, error here uh, well so again i'm going to write here a c f and then b s e that is our this so enter finally uh, a graph has been created here let's see Re let's read this graph well so here in this side we are seeing 0 5 10 15 to 30 it means this is nothing but it's all about lag and then talking about from this side 0 0.0 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 to 1 that is all about autocorrelation of bac series well this line is nothing but upper level and this line is all about lower level. Now the question is how to read this autocorrelation function of any particular series. So let's talk about ACF. Basically autocorrelation is simple correlation between xt and xt minus n it is a correlation between a series with its own lag for example correlation between today price and yesterday price it means if i talk about the correlation between of any particular series with its own lag lag here means if i say i want to know the correlation between today price and two days back price of the same series it means we talk about lag two three days back it means lag three so that is the concept of lag here if i read this acf function of bsc series any particular value or any autocorrelation is greater than this upper level value it means 
there is a to correlation of that particular line and if any value which is falling down from this lower level it means there is negative auto correlation so how to read simply you can say even in like 5 6 10 15 20 all lags are having the value or auto correlation more than this upper level it means the series has auto correlation function from 1 lag to 30 lag so simply you can say that auto correlation function is a statistically different from zero in lag 1 to lag 30 so that is all about auto correlation functions now there is another component of collogram that is PACF it means partial autocorrelation so how to create partial autocorrelation here PACF BAC enter well before talking about PACF we must know the meaning of PACF let's read partial autocorrelation is a correlation between observations XT and x t minus n after removing the linear relationship of all observation that fall between x t and x t minus 1. It says that if I want to know autocorrelation or if I want to know correlation between today price and two days back price I must remove the linear correlation between today price and t minus 1 it means a study price in order to represent correlation between today price and two, day, two days back price so that is partial autocorrelation this uh, this is similar to autocorrelation function in this uh, in terms of this graph so uh, this is lower level this is upper level and and these all are lag similarly uh, these are partial autocorrelation well now if i talk about lag one this lag one value or figure is more than or you can say greater than the upper level figure it means in lag 1 there is positive autocorrelation similarly if I talk about lag 2 the value is falling a little bit falling from this lower level it means there is negative autocorrelation in lag 2 and rest of the values are in between lower level and upper level it means we can say that in lag 1 and lag 2 partial autocorrelation are significantly different from 0 it means there is autocorrelation in lag 1 and lag 2 so that's all about